uh, in this demo you know we are uh, presenting we have utilized metamask snap uh, concept and uh, we are using uh, smart account concepts that are eip4337 compatible and we are utilizing snap to manage those smart accounts on behalf of uh, uh, the metamask accounts which are like owner you know of those smart contracts and uh, then we'll show uh, we'll show the concept of session keys here uh, so idea behind session keys is uh, every time a user wants to do an interaction uh, from your smart accounts you don't have to provide your signature every time you interact so by utilizing the concept of session keys, uh, you can create uh, many different session keys with specific permissions. So they will be authorized, uh, you know, to do certain uh, transactions only. And uh, for particular duration, you can uh, uh, interact with your smart accounts without providing any signature at all. And these session keys uh, will be, inter you know, interacting on behalf of you. So uh, imagine, you know, you are playing a game uh, and you, you know, create a session when you start playing that game and all other interactions for, uh, let's say for the day, uh, all the interactions are done by your session keys. So every time you don't have to provide your signature, uh, you know, from your, your wallet. So this is ideal user experience we want to provide. And now, you know, we'll see how, you know, it looks like in this demo. So initially, uh, you know, we uh, connect uh, the snap with the, with the MetaMask and, you know, we are uh, requesting certain permissions uh, from the MetaMask. So once user do approve and install, uh, it is asking for uh, the accounts permission. Uh, so let me, you know, give all. Now uh, we have uh, provided the permission to the snap uh and uh, let's you know take this account for this demo this is the new account you know i have uh, spun up now this is a eoa so for this eoa there needs to be a smart contract wallet so in order to enable the smart contract wallet let's click enable smart account so this will uh you know set up uh, the smart contract within the snap so the dap you know who are using these snaps don't have to manage all these smart accounts within their application code so everything will be done by the snap you know code so here we are asking a permission from the user that, that this is your smart contract uh, account and we are asking whether you know uh, user allows the snap to manage you know the smart contracts and all the session keys associated with it so once users are approved you can see uh, you know this smart account uh, even though you know this is not deployed yet but this is a counterfactual address we are showing uh, and uh, before this demo uh, I have actually sent some tokens to this uh, address so you can see this is still showing an, as an address here and I've sent around like 100 USDC on Goldly network so uh, and uh, this uh, my MetaMask account is the owner you know of this smart contract so every time I want to do uh, interaction with a smart contract, I have to provide some signature, you know, from my MetaMask EOA account. Uh, but with session keys, I mean, we don't have to provide those signatures again and again. And that, you know, that's we'll see. So uh, the smart contract wallet, which we have deployed, has uh, the concept of modules. You know, modules can extend functionality of a smart contract wallet. And one such module uh, we are showcasing here is session module. So. Uh, this is like one-time interaction done by the user uh, to extend the functionality of a smart contract wallet. So here, you know, I'm enabling this session module on my smart account. Uh, and uh, as I earlier mentioned, you know, this smart contract is not yet deployed. So this in first, since this is the first interaction and we are using Biconomy SDK, you know, to handle these smart account transactions. So SDK will identify that this is the first interaction and it will batch the smart contract wallet deployment transaction along with it. So again here we just have to sign from our owner account and uh, this transaction will be uh, relayed by a relayer uh, and uh, the smart contract will also be deployed in this transaction. You know we'll see, we'll see that. So here you know our transaction has started. Uh, let's wait you know for its confirmation. Uh, and once the transaction is confirmed, uh, then we should be able to see that this address will no longer be uh, just an address, you know, 
on the explorer it will be a contract a code will be associated with it so now you know we have enabled a session module here you can see the feedback and uh, let's try to refresh it uh, it might take some time because our transaction has just gone through uh, let's try to see what happened in this transaction so this transaction was successful it was a multi send transaction and here you can see wallet was created here in this transaction and uh, yeah now it's reflected now it's a contract and uh, we have enabled uh, our session module you know to this contract also and it has certain tokens you know which we will uh, soon transfer without providing any signature from our owner account now let's create some sessions session keys uh, that will associate you know with our smart account and all the session keys uh, stay on this session module uh this session module you know uh, when you create a session you also associate certain permissions uh, to that to that session key so those permission you know can be uh, you can whitelist certain uh, destination smart contract address that you want to interact from your smart contract wallet uh, and within those whitelisted contracts you can also whitelist certain smart contract methods so uh, there is a lot of you know granularity in terms of permissions and uh, on top of those if, if those uh, destination smart contract are erc20 token contracts you can also specify uh, authorized amount you know that these session keys will uh, be able to transfer from your smart account now let's try to create a session key here uh, or now these session keys are just a public private key uh, pair uh, that are you know generated within the snap and also stored within the snap so will have same security as you know you have for your metamask accounts so it is utilizing uh, you know metamask storage so here you can see this is the dynamically generated session key and uh, transaction is also sent on the network uh, to basically send this you know session associate this session key along with the permission to our smart contract wallet and now our transactions is successful uh, now we should be able to uh, you know transfer uh, our to uh, certain tokens from our smart contract wallet without providing any further you know signature from our owner account uh, so let's uh, try to send uh, 10 uh, usdc uh, let's me put receiver as my owner account itself uh, let's see and uh, now when we we'll click this transfer tokens there won't be any signature needed because these session keys will be signing you know a particular interaction and because we have authorized them uh, so transaction will be successful so when i click transfer tokens now the request is sent to metamask snap and within the snap uh, transfer transaction is uh, generated and signed by this session key and it is sent to this session module on chain and now in turn the session module will verify you know the signature and will also check uh, whether you know the parameters of the transactions are within the permission that was authorized to the session key once all checks have passed uh, this module will call our smart contract wallet and uh, do the tra transfer transaction so if here we can see you know our transaction was successful uh, if we see it on the explorer um, give it few seconds it should show that uh, 10 usdc uh, are transferred from this smart account to this receiver address and uh, that's it like you know you, you using these session keys you can do as many interactions you know within your uh, smart contract you just need to click and uh, these session keys will do the signature on the on your behalf uh, in the background and uh, you can see another transaction was done and here you know it's reflected like 10 usdc was transferred from uh, this account 9d51 and you can if you can see this is our smart account and uh, receiver address is b64b uh, b64b so here you know transaction is successful we don't have we didn't need to provide any 
extra signature from our owner account and these session keys are handling the interactions on your behalf and we are getting this you know uh, improved user experience now this uh, flow can be associated with within any application uh, especially in games you know it's very useful uh, when you have a lot of you know interactions and you don't want to you know sign every time you do an interactions so this was the demo uh, from our side Yeah, I think this can be, you know, then extended to uh, uh, different kind of fee mechanisms uh, from your smart account. So the uh, account that you spin up on top of MetaMask uh, owner addresses, uh, you can display balances. They can actually, uh, you know, pay for gas uh, from any ERC20 tokens. Uh, you can also plug in like a custom paymaster flow uh, using the Bikonomi SDK and, uh, you know, send out these transactions uh, with like another sponsoring party so these features are being added in the SDK and uh, you know you can like go and play around with it yeah yeah and these transactions uh, since smart accounts are account abstraction compatible so these transactions can also be sent via you know entry point contract and paymaster can actually pay you know for these type of interactions and uh, yeah this is all you know we wanted to show the concept of session keys on your smart accounts uh, using MetaMask snap Thank you.